Hi, nice to see you again here in the shop. Today I want to talk about batteries and how to avoid batteries. And I want to show you two very easy ways how to replace batteries or do a substitute, especially around the house. You know, I was tired of changing batteries for devices and, and, and fairy lights and decorations and all that stuff, especially if the next power outlet is very close. So I want to do a conversion to USB. I want to show you two ways. One is solder free and the, for the second one you need a soldering iron but this is a perfect beginners project so if you want to jump right in they don't cost too much these soldering irons. So and the second video I want to do later on is how to create a power bank with the stuff you already have in the shop. So yeah let's save some time some money and do something for the environment. So jump right in. All right, this is one of the fairy lights. I want to replace the batteries and uh, connect it to um, grid power. And my idea is to do that with USB. Why USB? Everybody at home has a USB or two or three power supplies. And if you do not have one left over, um, they are dead cheap on the flea market. You can find them everywhere, even in the garbage if you're looking for that. And they are dead cheap in a, in a dollar store as well. So yeah, that is the idea. And uh, these old USB key cables you uh, do not need anymore. They are perfect for that. So there's almost nothing to buy in that project. There are two options now how to replace it. First, <clears throat> we keep the battery tray. The advantage is you still have the switch and uh, later on you can still use it as it is now. We replace the batteries, replace it with dummies and uh, then hook a USB cable to it. Um, yes, that is option one. And if you more like option two, uh, for option one, no soldering um, is required. And option two is we cut the whole thing and hook it directly to the USB cable. Yes, you need a soldering iron for that. They're dead cheap and it is a perfect beginner's project. So if you really start, uh, want to start with uh, electronics and soldering, yeah, that's, that's your project. Yeah, that's pretty much everything we want to do. We start with option one. Let's go. All right, what do we need? We need our little device here. We need a kind of dowel, even a branch will do. We need an old USB cable. That's pretty much uh, an unused printer cable. You will find them there for free. We need some pin nails with metal surface for um, pins we need. So this is also very common and almost for free. And one thing we need additionally to that and most of you guys won't have that at home laying around is a resistor. This little little guy keeps your LEDs healthy and usually you can calculate the the values of the resistor you need. I don't want to dive into the theory of, of all that so just buy a resistor that has between 250 and 500 ohms you're good to go. The higher the value the darker your LEDs will be afterwards. 250 to 500 ohms and 0.5 watts uh, they should cope with. So this is what you what you need. There, I do not know. I, I think this costs three to four cents or something. Um, if you buy ten, yeah, it's almost nothing. Maybe you have a, a shop around where you can buy them single. So yeah, let's build it. First step will be we cutting two dowels. They should have at something around the length of the battery leave a little bit space because we're adding this things and we have um, springs there so use the length of the of the battery body and we need two of them next step the usb cable get rid of one of the wires here
Alrighty, and what we need here is just the red and the black wire. All right, this is where we are now. Cables inside, shell is already prepared. So now we know that we need the negative connector here because there is a minus on that is how the battery is orientated in. So we actually take one of these pins Wrap the cable around the pin one to two times. It's okay. And then punch it in. And this should really sit tight. So this is everything you have to, to do with this one. And you just can bring in that holder. Let's do the wiring for the positive end. It's the same. I just wrap the legs of the resistor around that little post and then I punch the pin in that dowel so that this has a good connection. And the same up here but this time I also take the wire It's a bit, you know, it's a little bit tiny everything, but it is the easiest way. And you can replace the resistor if the lights are too bright or too, too dark for you. So actually you, you gain a kind of adjustable LED fairy light at the end. So here we have our power connector. Yeah, let's punch it in. Let's see how it works. Yes, and it works. Oh, wait a minute, I have to dim the lights maybe. Whoa, you can see it better. You see? Whoa. There it is. Our fairy lights. Make the other light switch it out as well. So this is how easy it is. Let's do the second option. All right, soldering iron is hot. Now we have our connections here for the fairy light. And if you cut the battery tray, sometimes it's hard to tell beforehand what connection should be positive and what negative. Uh, why is that important? LEDs just work in one direction. So if, if, you, if you connect it wrong, they won't, they won't light up. And that is the reason we have to be clear beforehand and to avoid that we burn the LEDs during that process we just um, bring the as a first step we bring the resistor into the circuit yeah that is what I do now then I try out what is the right connection and then uh, we shrink tube everything together let's go To mark that positive wire I just add a piece of shrink tube to it, a red one, so that I can clearly identify the positive wire.
All right, the conversion to USB, as you see, is a very, very easy thing to do. And um, yeah, you see, I have uh, stuff around that I have to convert um, and I will do that as next step. So if you have any questions or if I should show something in more detail, let me know. I will do a little video to help you out. So yeah, as always, click like, subscribe, share, and I hope I see you next time around. Happy crafting.